Welcome back, everyone. I'm Jay Barino. This is Outpost 2, Divided Destiny. We're heading into Mission 4, going back to Infected Eden. By going back, I mean going for the first time. Well, by going back, I mean we're doing it again, because we did it as Eden. The two campaigns do not take place at the same time. It's either one or the other. Alrighty, mission briefing. Commander, some of our scientists propose sending in a research group to the devastated Eden site. Whatever destroyed Eden may be a threat to us as well. We've also confirmed our earlier suspicions. Eden was developing weapon systems. Ah! These weapons have been deployed in structures and vehicles throughout Eden. One of our scientists has modified several of the scanning devices on our scout units. Although she declines to give us all the details until she has done more research, she is very convinced that the data we we need will be found at the advanced labs in Eden. She also recommends we proceed with our plan under the cover of darkness. Our units must infiltrate the colony and find the advanced labs. Move a scout directly next to the side of the lab so the scout can scan the structure for the data. It may take the scout some time to locate the information and transmit it back to us and protect them with microwave links units. The labs have been sustained heavy damage and may explode spontaneously. It may happen. If that happens, the data will be lost forever. We must hurry. Units we had previously, previously sent to the colony to explore have stopped transmitting after a short time. Oddly, we can still see these units in our satellite imagery. Be aware of the potential loss of control of the units. However, our expedition will help answer this mystery. All right. Here's the Eden laser. We know that. Alrighty. Here we go. Let's go. So now we have microwave links, which is comparable to Eden lasers. So let's just go ahead and hotkey all of our stuff to one big group. Go ahead and hotkey our scouts to one big group. I think the map layout may be the exact same. A, a true thrill. A true thrill today we have. Okay, let's 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 go ahead and grab this guy right away. Oh yeah, get him microwave links. Um, microwave is better in the late game because it comes with an attack speed upgrade. It's awesome. It's out it's just awesome. Oh, wait, there's a... All right, whoops. Apparently there's a guard tower there. You back away. I don't know if guard towers cause any sort of explosion when they when they blow up. It seems like only very specific structures do that. I swear I've had things damaged being too close to a guard tower before, so maybe. Uh, if I learned anything from last time is you don't have to be that careful this Damn mission. Boy. So let's just uh, try to go fast and not lose anything to the... Uh, to the blight. Let's just try to finish it rather quickly because if you take too long, then oops. That last mission was rather challenging, I'd say. Uh, it seemed like the uh, the timing was very, very, very precise and uh, was much harder than the Eden comparison. So I really think that Plymouth, you have more natural disasters. Obviously, we have electrical storms now, not just earthquakes. And I had much, much, much less time to complete the mission. So I guess that's just the way it is. Things will never be the same. That's just the way it is. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, and we'll just take these out, split up, and you guys attack this guy, you guys attack this guy. Let's move our scouts down. There we go. Where do these guys come from? Get out of here. Get out of here. Come on down here, and while my scouts are scouting, we'll uh, go ahead and come down here and destroy this guard post. I uh, really have no excuse or shame in saying that this mission is going to be really, really short. Sorry. Uh, that's, just the, that's just the way I roll, alright? It's one video a day. Alrighty, and also part of it is, um, I understand they're short, but I only, you know, record a certain amount of videos a day. It's not really about the time. Unless it's super, super long, but super, super short, it's just like I only want to record a certain amount, and then it's, it's time to stop. Time to stop for the day. Full-time work. Married. Obligations in real life, as it were. Alright. Destroy these. I'm, I'm <laughs> just being a lot more careless than I was in my first, uh, in my Eden run-through of this, and just sort of going. Alright, I already got this one, right? Yeah. So there's, what, four total? Alright, you guys attack this. You guys keep attacking the guard post. You guys attack down here. Got him! Alright, scouts move down. Scouts keep moving down. There we go. Alright. Pick it up. Pick it up, advanced lab. Alright. And how many more? There's one down here, too, and then that's it. Then we're done. Alright. So I guess with the with the whole, you know, one video a day thing, the exception is the, uh, I'm currently recording Heart of the Swarm, and I think I'll release two videos a day when there's an evolution mission. I just feel bad about releasing just those, because they're not, like, real plot. There's no, like, plot development or anything like that. I'm getting bottlenecked here. We're losing units, but I just don't care, because we're almost done. Right, you guys attack him. You guys down here attack the guard post. And we'll make our way down here. I should have gone down this way. There would have been way less units, but oh well. Again, I think I'm fine. It'd be real funny if I was unable to complete this mission now. I haven't really microed anything at all. Okay. Down here. Let's see if we can sneak over here. Ah, let's just go down here, destroy this guard post, destroy the links, and then we're done. Alrighty. Damage warning. 
Actually, it's good that my damage units move slower, because that means they'll never be in the front taking direct damage from the guard posts. So that's good. Are any of these, none of these guard posts are connected by tubes, either. If they were, they would do a lot more damage. That microwave is gone. That's okay, though. We only have to destroy these two links, and then we're done. So let's move the scouts up. Enemy unit cool. Sighted. No, no, come back. I want to talk. All right, yeah, they, they did come back. All right, while you guys are attacking, let's just... Oh, well... Well, let's just do this. We are under attack. All right, that Lynx is going up the other way. I don't want to. I don't want to accidentally lose my scout. Get him! Get him! Attack him! This was way more sloppy than my Eden playthrough, but it's a speed run of Eat of Plymouth Mission Four. You heard it here first, Jay Barino. Speed running Plymouth Mission Four. <laughs> just, just kidding. I, I bet on hard mode that would have been too slow. All the advanced labs would have all exploded, and all my units got taken over by the blight. That's how unforgiving it is. All right, cool. Cool. And that's it! Mission 4 is over. Uh, I guess it compensates for the, uh, the last mission where I had some trouble and I had to play through it twice. So, alrighty. It's been Jay Barino. Next time we're gonna be heading into Mission 5, and again, our paths will be diverging a bit with Eden. The missions are generally the same. It's like macro, micro, macro, mining mission, micro, macro, that kind of stuff. But at the same time, the, the research is different. We can make different types of units, so on and so forth. Alrighty, this has been Jay Barino. Thanks so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye now.